come back. Okay, so uh, Michael Singer, uh, Director of Account Manager, Israel and the CIA for uh, for Pioneer. Hi, Michael. Welcome. Yeah, hi. Well known. Okay. For uh, some issue. Perfect. Yeah. So, as we learned, we need to talk close to the microphone. Yeah. And, um, uh, guys at the back, please, if you're chatting outside, because we hear it very loud here. So, Michael, maybe a few words. About yourself, about like a lot of people here know about Pioneer, but uh, briefly, maybe. So they'll just listen. Yeah, okay. So, but, uh, even in uh, Israel, Pioneer is considered uh, mostly as a great place uh, to work in. As many of us know, we see a uh, job supported by Pioneer in Israel. But uh, lately, what, what actually happened is uh, obviously because of the new stations, we mostly started with our readiness in uh, Israel and work. So, this is why also I became a countryman in Israel and the uh, stay at home in Spain since the uh, beginning of uh, the year. So, okay, so Ben here focused mainly on um, when it's really, really hard. Uh, I, excuse me, at the back. I'm sorry, it will be very appreciated if you can be outside and chat. We hear it very loud. It's very hard to concentrate. Okay. It's very loud. No, we can speak right, but uh, yeah. Okay, sorry. So um, let's talk about what we're going to especially from Israel, especially multi currency, very problematic for a lot of companies. Uh, so, how do you solve it? So yeah, so uh, Pioneer uh, exists from 2005, something like that, went public in uh, 2021, Nasdaq. And since uh, the beginning, Pioneer was uh, developing uh, infrastructure. Like uh, we're not we're not bank, we're uh, in American fintech. So uh, that both allowed us to work uh, a lot with uh, different banks from the world. And obviously, the top banks uh, that exist, let's say, Bank of America in the US, Barclays uh, in the UK, we can talk about CP as well. So, you're helping the cross border uh, transactions. And how do you, is it with a local bank account or is it uh, uh, your account that you're building out of the, like an e money account? How does that work? So, yeah, actually, Pioneer holds a uh, bank account across the world. And uh, we are providing uh, bank account numbers for receiving accounts to our customers, uh, and each one of them is uh, unique. So basically, you're receiving the uh, actual bank account number to receive funds across the world in different currencies. Okay, got it. So it's very easy. I wouldn't say easy, but it, it makes life easy for companies who are local uh, to grow outside. Because for me as a company, Opening an account in the UK will take me, I have no idea how much effort, but a lot of effort. Yeah, let's talk about that. And, and that's like a progressive market. If I need to, to open one in Ethiopia, it might be even harder. So how do you help the local companies now they're growing outside, especially from Israel? A lot of the Israeli startups are doing this transition. So where do you fit in and when? So yeah, we've, we've actually understood that the uh, many companies you know, Israel market is very small. And we have a huge amount of uh, startups in uh, different fields, fields like, uh, I, I, I don't know, fin even fintechs as well, right? Uh, so uh, yeah, open on here, so we, there are about 410 uh, uh, fintechs, and this is like a growing number, but in general, most of the, 90% of the startups here are focused on global markets. Yeah, this is the, this is the thing that, uh, this is what's interesting actually in Israel, that, uh, you know, uh, all the startups that are starting, started to grow, they, they already from the beginning, they start to think worldwide and not internal market. And this is the beauty of the thing. But uh, obviously there are a lot of obstacles. So uh, in order to, uh, you know, to open a company, let's say in the UK or in the US, it's really, sometimes it's even uh, can be done uh, online. But then you need also a bank account to support this uh, international activity. This is where the, the, the actual problem comes comes up. Uh, to open bank account in, uh, for example, in the UK can take uh, up to three months, sometimes six months, and you know you open it to be present. If you're approved, 
like it, it yeah. might be rejected and uh, KYC process. And, okay. Yeah, but, but but again, you know, Burner may does the same KYC processes, you know, where an international uh, company with uh, e, e mining license uh, were licensed all over the world. So, you know, it's not, we're not making the KYC processes either. We're just making it more efficient and faster. Okay, so so we talked about opening bank accounts and uh, the various corridors, right, that you, that you operate. But at the end of the day, outside of the bank account, what type of solutions or services do you offer? How do you assist uh, uh, startups or companies even after the they have the account with you? Yeah, great question. So uh, as I said, opening bank account is very hard. So first of all, we're providing uh, these type of uh, receiving accounts that are actually uh, look uh, like uh, any regular bank account. You can get like, uh, many bank accounts from Bank of America, parties, uh, all, all other as well. In addition, for uh, let's say smaller companies, we also allow ability to build their customers. Just uh, you know, they just send payment requests, payment repetitive payment requests. Okay, because that's that's a problem. Because you're talking about if I'm not using a card where there, you know, it's easy to make payment. If I'm using bank transfers, I always have this question: Will he pay me for the next month, so I can have like a full Kind of the, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so payment requests are also, you know, you can also set it up like, uh, like that. That uh, with reminders, recurring uh, requests, you also have the ability to have invoices to it. Looks like better, like you know, even for the smaller stuff, it's very serious. Okay, great. So, what is what is in the future for uh, Daniel? What do you plan on? Next, uh, next big thing or next uh, product that you want to hear? It's a good, it's a good place to do an unveiling if you have. So, <laughs> yes. Yeah. Well, you know, the revealing actually was done already, but only in Hong Kong. So the next uh, product we're aiming. So brace yourself. We have an unveiling here today, right? Yeah. Kind of. Yes. So I really hope that soon enough we will also come to Europe and the uh, usual new product as well. It's called Pay and Checkout. So if uh, until now we were mostly focusing on uh, the B2B transactions, this time we're finally starting to focus also on the on the B2C. We recognize that the, uh, many of our customers who work uh, with Amazon, eBay, uh, other marketplaces, and by the way, all these marketplaces are, are, are our partners, which is something I forgot to mention. So uh, in addition, let's say we're talking about e-commerce sellers, in addition, they also have their own stores. And you know, we already uh, work with them, and for them, it will be easier to uh, add this paying future feature in the future to receive payments from the stores as well. This is this is going directly in the same trajectory of the the market being consolidated. So a lot of the fintech products are being consolidated to one platform. He said, if I'm already working, and we heard this also in the land panel and the uh, and near and, and it's something that we hear all the time. Trust is the main issue. So if you already have the trust of your client and you're already working with them, I'm not even talking about non-financially. So it'll be good just to add the additional features. And do you build it yourself using third party? And you know the startups here can approach you and maybe offer you a new uh, like a it's, it's about to you know everything is possible. This is why I'm also here, you know, also to communicate with colleagues. And uh, by the way, we also have I'm here, and we have also Eli, our uh, partnership manager for Israel here as well. So you can approach him uh, too to ask uh, more questions if uh, it was interesting for you. But in, in overall, I think the main goal for us is uh, becoming one stop shop for all Israeli companies. And you know, there will not, no, no need to go uh, uh, and then find any other company to work with uh, their cross border uh, payments. Okay, got it. Um, wonderful. All right, anything else you want to share with uh, the audience? Or no, just a question. Anybody maybe have a question? We have one question. I'm giving you one question. No? Okay. So it, it's hard. Very near as well. No, but uh, okay, wonderful. Thank you very much for sharing. Uh, I'm looking forward to see you, you know, continue growing. And it's not the first time. Okay. No, of course not. But I'm, I'm saying it's like a, it's that's right. In, in the, so uh, if you have any ideas for Pioneer, you know, don't reach out. Um, perfect. Thank you very much. Thank you. Time. Time. Yes, yes, please.